and this is your long-awaited international vegan food series with ingredients from your local international grocery store. Today we are going to be making buñuelos and api from the motherland Bolivia. As many of you know, I lived in Bolivia for 13 years of my beautiful life. And if you guys want to see story times or anything like that from Bolivia, let me know in the description down below. But for now, I am only going to give you a little background on what buñuelos and what api is. So, in Bolivia, unlike here, we don't have very many shopping malls and grocery stores. I mean, they still exist, but they're not abundant like here. It is more common for people to go to huge street markets. And at the street markets, there are indigenous cholitas. And these ladies are not only selling clothing, handcrafted stationery, art, or homegrown food, they are also making street food out in the streets. So, that was so redundant, street food out in the streets. So, buñuelos and api are street food. They are mostly seen in the Andes side of Bolivia. So, in Sucre, Oruro, Potosí, La Paz. And the buñuelos I made today are like this big. The buñuelos that Cholitas make in Bolivia are like ginormous. They're the size of my face or bigger. And it's really fun to see them out on the streets just making food right there in front of you. They are so freaking professional. They make them so fast. And... They're also so good. Mine came out really good too. I'm not gonna lie. I hope you like them. But yeah, so if I had to compare buñuelos to something here in America, I would compare them to funnel cake. But unlike funnel cake, they taste a little different and they are also a little chewier. They also have powdered sugar on top and you eat them with either maple syrup, honey, or in Bolivia, they actually make their own caramel by toasting sugar for a while, which I have not perfected that recipe yet, but hopefully in the near future, I will. And then api is a very unique drink. It is made out of purple corn. It is very, very rich, and it has a very cinnamony taste. It is very good and I hope you guys try it. I hope you guys expand your culturalness from watching these videos. But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. Now let's get started.
today's video. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I am so excited that I finally created this series. I have been wanting to make it for the past two years and I don't know why it took me so long to do it. My whole purpose with doing this series is to attract people who love exploring the world, people who like learning about different cultures, people who like meeting people from different places and just so we can have like a better connection because that is what I am into and I hope that you guys are into that too. I am just a whole wide world lover. Is that even a thing? That sounds kind of weird. Anyways, if you are here for the first time ever, hello and welcome to our little banana family. Is that what we're gonna call it? Let's call it banana family. I like that. So if you are here for the first time ever, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Is that how you say it? Button. Button. Am I saying it wrong? Probably. Who cares? I know you guys still love me. And also, YouTube has changed things around. Now, if you want to see videos from your favorite YouTubers, you need to click on the little notification bell. So if you have not clicked your little notification bell, make sure to click it so you never, ever, 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 ever miss my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!